Thank you. I will talk about the history of seedling protection against pine weevil and uh, if we, uh, wax will be the future. Okay. Next one here. Uh, the pine we adult pine weevil feed on thin bark of the living, recently dead conifers, and uh, the larval development occurs in roots of fresh conifer stumps. And if no uh, protection is made on the seedling, uh, the it could be up to 100% seedling mortality within a reforestation area. Uh, this problem has gone on uh, is as old as the clear-cutting method uh, and it was first de described in the 18th century. Uh, since the 1950s uh, forestry has relied on uh, insecticides. However, the present goal, forestry without chemicals, uh, has driven research to find uh, alternative uh, methods. And uh, here is some of them. Uh, there is uh, uh, two barrier, uh, two shields, the two upper ones, and there is two kind of coatings. This one is the wax, which has been subject to our studies within the Weevil Stop project, which is a EU project with uh, 15 members uh, from seven countries. Uh, and the aim of the uh, project is to focus on developing a vaccine machine, uh, which you can see here. Uh, the seedlings are moving beneath a shower of wax and rotating and being treating, treated in that way. Uh, and we're building a scientific basis by studying plant health and wax degradation that's been done at Oslo University. And our part is uh, at SLU is the interaction between the pine weevil and the wax. Uh, our results have demonstrated the um, importance of sufficient thickness uh, of the wax. So back to the question, will wax be the future? It could be. Uh, it's a good protection for at least one season, and uh, mass application is possible with this new machine, uh, which could be an alternative for smaller nurseries. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>